Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 317. That is, what is comprehensive testing? Let me answer. So what is comprehensive testing? Comprehensive testing is a method of software testing which tests the code and internal program structure of the software. Who generally writes the code? Developers will write the code for building the software. Okay, developers will write the code and provide this internal program structure for building the software. So who has to perform comprehensive testing? Developers only will perform the comprehensive testing because they can access the code. Whatever they have written for building the software, they can view the code, they can test the code. Okay, so comprehensive testing will be done by the developers and uh, how they will be doing the code will be accessible visible and also testable okay they will provide some test data as input and they'll get some output okay test output if this is expected output then developers will pass the test otherwise they will fail the test as part of comprehensive testing so there are several names for this comprehensive testing what are the different names for comprehensive testing white box testing glass box testing open box testing code based testing transparent box testing clear box testing and structural testing all are these different names for the comprehensive testing can also be called as this names okay and coming to the different levels of software testing there are four levels of software testing that is one is unit testing second one is integration testing third one is system testing and fourth one is user acceptance testing in that first two levels of software testing that is unit testing and integration testing will fall into the comprehensive testing category which will be generally done by developers where the developers can access the code, they can view the code, they can test, perform testing of unit testing and integration testing as part of the comprehensive testing. Okay. Hence, unit testing, integration testing falls under the comprehensive testing category. The opposite of the comprehensive testing is black box testing. Okay. The opposite of the comprehensive testing is black box testing. In comprehensive testing, the testing will be performed by testing the internal code and internal program structure of the software which is used for building the software right here testing won't be performed by using the visual graphical user interface of the software anywhere developers will not use a visual graphical user interface of the software to test the software rather they will test the internal code they have written for developing the software or internal program structure used for building the software okay but visual graphical user interface won't be there while performing comprehensive testing but coming to the black box testing here testing will be performed using the visual graphical user interface of the functionalities of the software okay uh, they won't have access to the internal code implementation or internal program structure of the software okay here whoever is performing this uh, black box testing doesn't have the access to the internal code okay or internal program structure only they can test the software using the visual functionality of the software for example if you are given this application for testing okay and if you are uh, testing the search functionality like this when you click on the search button you see uh, everything is graphical user interface visual graphical user interface okay some code is running in the background guys okay some code is running in the background when you click on the search button but what is that code that is not accessible to the one who is actually performing the black box testing okay but in comprehensive testing the code is visible and accessible but in black box testing just by testing the visual graphical user interface of the software like this we'll be testing the software so as I already mentioned, there are four levels of software testing that is unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing or acceptance testing. The remaining two levels will fall into the black box testing. That is, system testing and acceptance testing will fall into the black box testing category where testing will be done using the visual functionality of the software. Okay. And uh, there will not be any access to the internal code implementation of the software. Okay. Where developers have written the code, that code will not be accessible to the one who is performing the black box testing. So, system testing is. Uh, uh, the third level of the software testing and it will be performed by the software testers okay it will be performed by software testers uh, and the main focus of the software testers while performing the system testing is they will check whether the client specified or client given requirements are okay are developed properly into the software okay so developers have built the software according to the client given requirements or specifications or not is something that the main focus is and a small focus will be given to the whether user needs and expectations are met uh, in the software is uh, that it will be given very small focus in the system testing but here the software testers will be performing black box testing as part of system testing and they will be test they will be testing the entire application as a whole okay in terms of client requirements main focus okay user needs and expectation less focus but coming to the acceptance testing here user needs and expectations comes into the major focus okay uh, apart uh, client requirements and specifications will also be checked but uh, but the main focus will be given to the whether user needs and expectations are met or not is the main purpose 
So here acceptance testing can be broken down into two parts. One is alpha testing, second one is beta testing. Alpha testing will be done by the client side business people who has some knowledge of uh, user needs and expectations. They will travel to the developer site and uh, they will give their feedback so that uh, the developers can modify the uh, application code according to the uh, client side business people given uh, user needs and expectations, okay? Uh, using that feedback. Coming to the beta testing, here software will be released into the market but not for selling purpose, rather for collecting the real feedback from the real customers who generally use this software in their daily needs and okay, for their daily needs, okay? So that actual user needs and expectations can be collected, that feedback can be collected from the end users and that is called as beta testing, guys, okay? So all this uh, system testing and acceptance testing fall into the black box testing, while unit and integration will be done by developers will fall into the comprehensive testing. So hope guys, you understood what is comprehensive testing in this session, so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.